Hey guys, so I'm just gonna record um, the warm up and some of the movements in it, and then move through the pre wad and the wad. Just the key points to focus on. So if you're jumping in for the noon or evening call today, so we have a noon Zoom live, um, and then we'll have a 5 p.m. Zoom live. If you're having on those, you don't have to worry about watching this. Um, you're gonna be motivated through the group. If you're doing this on your own, you'll wanna watch this and really do the warm up, the pre wad and the wad, and you're gonna have to focus on your technique. If you record it and send it to the coaches, um, that would be awesome. And you can let us know what you were doing and we can check our your movements for any faults that we might notice. Um, but jumping on the Zoom call will probably be the most fun. And if you can't make it work, then we want these videos for you. So your warm up today, um, one thing I'm gonna mention is I'll put this in for you guys. Um, there's an app called Smart Wad Timer. I think it's only for Apple. So I'll have to include a link for um, non Apple users. Um, but I really like it because it has different styles that you guys might see. So I'll just show my phone. Mm, I don't think you guys can see that at all. Um, but it says AMRAP, four time, EMOM or Tabata. And then the EMOM you can actually adjust all the times of. So it can be like every two minutes, every two and a half minutes, every 45 seconds. Um, and you pick for how many minutes. So I like that one. Um, today we're gonna use the AMRAP one. We're gonna set it to eight minutes. Um, you can obviously also just turn on a timer for eight minutes um, at home. And then we're gonna get after a little warm up. So I'm gonna show you the movements of the warm up and you're gonna do those for eight total minutes. Um, so I'm gonna start my timer here. Our movements this morning. We've got 15 in and outs. So that's just bottom of the squat. From the side with the fifth. We've got 15 of those. Then we'll come to our uh, Spider Man position. Go right side, switching feet right into that left for 10 total. If you choose to do all five on one side and then switch, do all five on the other, that's fine. Um, I like the alternating because it gets the hips a little warmer for me. I'm doing this a little bit less than 10 of those, but we got 10 of those. Then we'll go into five bottom half burpees or think of it as a plank. Go into the bottom of your squat, back to the plank. So it's two. Three. We just got five of those. Then we'll come down into our hollow rock. So try and keep that low back on the ground. We'll go 10 hollow rocks. And then we're gonna go a 10 second hold at the top of our plank into a 10 second hold at the bottom. Um, I'm just gonna count to 10 for myself. You can do the same. So you have a 10 second plank hold. That bottom hold is not just relaxing on the ground. I'm trying to show this here. So that bottom of the hold, you're gonna slowly push into your push up and just hang out hovering at that chest. <laughs> Pretty correct. Sorry, there's always gonna be a cat in these videos. And then we'll go through that for eight total minutes. Right now, I'm about a minute and 15 seconds in. Oh no, I have five minutes and 45 seconds left. Um, so definitely getting a few rounds of that gets you good and primed for the workout today. Um, workout wise, we've got that pre wad of the push up. I'm just going to show a lots of different variations for that push up. So. If we're doing the push-up at home, we're going for that max set. One thing we want to focus on is that good quality technique. So our nice hollow body position. We're going to be in that top of our plank position of the active core. Keep that chest nice and proud. 
drop the chin, chin your chest, drop the chest to the ground, and then push away. So focus is that we're getting that full range of motion, getting that chest to the ground, pushing away, and you just knock those out for a max set in that first minute. If you could do push-ups beyond that minute, that's okay. But we're gonna stop right at that one minute mark and move forward. If you feel like that's not a challenge enough and you have the ability to kick up and do your handstand push-ups that we've been working on, this is a great opportunity. You could do um, similar sets that we did last week. So maybe you're doing 30 to 40% of kipping and doing that for every minute for eight minutes. So that's an option if you can kick up to your wall. Um, I live in an apartment, probably wouldn't choose to do that. So I'm just gonna stick with regular push-ups. I can also make it more challenging and do the pike push-up. But if you're gonna make it more challenging for yourself, think about the fact that we really want that uh, quality movement. So I'll just do pike push-ups with like little quarter dips. If you can get that full pike push-up where that head touches the ground at 90 degree angles, may press through. Halfway there. You could swap out for that. So, um, pause my morning timer. Um, so you can scale up that movement if the push-up's too easy. And then of course, if the push-up's more challenging, you can pick different objects in your house that you can use similarly to the box height. So maybe I could grab my stool here, hands on it, be in my next plank position, chest touches, push away. And I can do my max set from that. Um, maybe that's not easy enough or it's still too challenging. I can move to something like my countertop here and push that same full range of motion. Noticing that I'm pushing those elbows back, not outside, not chicken leaning, pushing them towards the hips. So let's think about it as elbows go 45 degree angles towards the hips. Uh, maybe you have a coffee table or something that you can go to about this position, you know, here through. So lots of different options to make that easier. And then if you don't have any household item that you would want to use, or maybe that is not really a scaling for you that way, you could go um, knee push-ups. And we just want to make sure that we're still maintaining that nice tight body position. So pushing through the floor. We're not putting that butt up and reaching that head down. So that full plank position, lowering and pushing away. So that will be pre-one number one. You'll hit a max set on minute one. Say you finish it in 40 seconds, you're resting for the rest of that minute, and then you're resting the whole next minute, getting after another max set. Goal would be that you either hit the same number or that you're able to push it a little bit, um, rather than using one max set and then not getting anything ever again. Um, for the next pre-one, we'll hit the via. So, um, that be if we're in a nice hollow position and then we're snapping up, getting that back off the ground. If those are too challenging, we can start in a hollow position and snap to a little tuck. If both of those are too challenging, you can start with the feet on the ground and then just pick yourself up. So those are some options for the V-ups. Just gonna get after it for a full minute probably. Um, and see how many reps you can get through, and then rest a minute and do that again. So that's gonna be the pre wads today. For our wad, it's just air squats and jumping air squats. So if you are unsure of your depth, grab a camera, record yourself, make sure those feet are just outside of shoulder width, or dragging those knees to the walls while we're sending those hips back. So knees go up, hips go back, sit down, go back up. We're gonna hit 30 of those. After 30, here you go, right into a jumping version. So if you have any knee issues or any limitations, let's just do one minute of air squats. Um, if that's controlled and okay for you. If not, let's do step ups. If you can find a little object to step to, I have like literally nothing in my apartment, but most people probably have like a stool or something that exists that they can take little steps to or a box, anything like that. Um, so if you have limitations with your lower half that you can't do squats, you can also send your coach a message or send me a message. Um, we'll give you a modification for it. But otherwise, we're hitting air squats. After those 30, we'll go right into jumping air squats, looking for that full extension, but you're not having to get max height. So it can be little, little jumps. You just have to come off the ground. But we should be opening those hips. So it's not 
like this. You'll get a good burn that way, but we really want to focus on that triple extension and then getting into that next squat. So let me know if you have any questions. Anyways, let's have some fun. I'll see you guys at noon or five o'clock if you use the Zoom link. Otherwise, follow through these steps. You'll get a good workout in and take pictures, send us videos. Enjoy the cat for the next couple days.